Warning, this spoiler cast does contain spoilers of current and past movies, books, games, TV shows, and possibly your life. So if you're listening to a show called Spoiler Cast and you're pissed off that we gave away spoilers, we really don't care. Thanks again and have a wonderful day. Hello and welcome to another episode of Spoiler Cast. We always thank you for tuning in and checking us out. On this episode, the hosts dive into... Okay, that's a bad impression of... Anyways, uh, they're diving into the extraterrestrials or things not of this world. Uh, so they're going to jump into movies and theories and concepts about uh, things that are not of this world, whether alien or not. So it should be a great episode. Again, we want to thank you guys for listening to SpoilerCast. Always check out our Facebook and Twitter, which you can find links to at alltowerpodcast.com or alltowermedia.com. Be sure to also check out Spellbook Studios at spellbook.com. It's where we record all of our SpoilerCast podcasts and they do a wonderful job at making some awesome mobile games so check them out on your app store today also head over to darkwaterfiction.com to find da roberts independent publishing site where you can find links to his ragnarok rising zombie novels as well as his book set in the infinite blacks universe infinite black being one of the mobile games created by none other than spellbook studios as well as other books by authors that he has signed into his independent publishing site. Now perk up your ear holes, boys and girls, for another... The rest of this podcast has been redacted for top secret reasons. Hi, welcome to the next episode. Not the newest, the, but the next episode. This uh, is the first episode of 2016, though. This is, thank you, the first episode. It's also my first episode being 26. Happy birthday. That's true. Happy, happy birthday, happy Jareth. Birthday. Thank uh, you. And I haven't even said what the show is. So it's a spoiler cast by All Tower Media. <laughs> and it is our first episode of 2016. And Jareth's uh, one of our hosts tonight. And you're 26 now. Yep, as of yesterday. Happy birthday. Nailed it. Youngster. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Thank happy you. birthday to you. And guess what this episode's about, Internet? One word. Aliens. Aliens. That's oh, he exactly did the hands. Right. They did. Aliens. They were almost jazz hands. <laughs> so the voice you're hearing and have been, as I said a moment ago, is Jareth. Hi, Jareth. Hello. Hi. And then over here to the other side of me, we have Allie. Hi, Allie. Hi, Matt. And then over there at Master Control, running all the switchboards and controls, things of that nature, is that of Spellbook Studios, Dire Monkey. Hola. Hola. Anything new and exciting happening with uh, Spellbooks that you're willing to talk about? Um, yes. Yes. Actually, we are weeks away from releasing Heroes of Dire Ooh. to the the community. Fantastic. So we've been working on some stuff like getting quests ready to go. Yeah. So there'll be questing, some questing available to start off with. Badass. Um, also getting some loot tables put together and can some I, reward tables. Did you did you use the, the quest that you texted me the that, other day? That is can one I, variable. Can I say that? Sure. It's uh, <laughs> failure to register as a necromancer. Yes, sir. What? <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's that's a quest. It's failure to register as a necromancer. It's pretty important that you uh, keep your uh, <laughs> licensing up to date on that sort of thing. Now, do you need permits to use the, the powers? Uh, you would have to too? ask. You'd have to ask Mr. Spellbook over here because that's that's not my thing. <laughs> just, just make sure all your paperwork's in order and you should be fine. <laughs> Otherwise, no. we'll send someone to kill you if because you failed. To no, no. But here's the question: Do you have to wear a badge, or if you don't wear a badge, is that considered I like think, concealed carry? I think you have to turn <laughs> off. I think you have to turn off all your lights on certain holidays. Holidays, otherwise yeah. people can't like approach your house. Got, okay. Uh, well, also, if you change uh, zones, you have to notify all your new neighbors. Yeah, you, okay. ha you have to go around and tell them all you're a necromancer. <laughs> There's a necrom uh, necromancy registry. Yeah, yeah. There, there is. There is. There's I can look up and see how many necromancers live nearby. That's exactly. <laughs> what their what their crimes have been in the past. Well, there's, they're not crimes. It's just you know what their experiments, what their experiments are. are. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, so, 
Anything other than that? Anything happened with the Infinite Black? I say that's closest to our topic tonight. Um, right now, uh, black, nothing in the game. Black uh, But we did have a contest for three more books to give away. Signed copies from D.A. Roberts, The uh, Lost what? Legion. So we will be announcing those. I think the drawing is tomorrow. How do you enter said drawing? It was a forum contest on our forums. Okay. Oh, you mean you should probably check the forums over here at Spellbook Studios on, on occasion. Spellbook.com, go under the infinite black. There's a, uh, a thing on there. Oh, cool. So. Rock on. So we'll be looking forward to the contest winners come, what, uh, tomorrow? Uh, possibly, we'll, possibly. Know, we'll know them tomorrow, and I could announce them next time we get together. Fantastic. Okay. So people will know. I That'd need to cool. enter this drawing. Well, it's it's over with now. Oh, Ow. damn it! <laughs> That's why they're announcing. Don't worry. Well, we, thanks for telling me about it before the drawing ended. We have it five, was posted up on the forums. Yeah, it was. <laughs> we, have, we do have four more books to give away, so we'll be doing more contests in this year. Oh, yeah. good. So I'm so, not completely asked out yet. No. Nope. Yay. Nope. So that's that's a thing. Good to hear. Good to hear. Um, there is uh, in the works. I'm, I'm, I've been assisting with Dire Monkey. This is between he and I so far, but I've been working on some drawings for. Oh yes, the comic the comic book for, idea for a comic book. I've been reading over some of those things and. <laughs> They're ridiculous, ain't they're, it? They're pretty dark on a couple of things. <laughs> Aren't they? They're a little dark. Yeah. I'm kind of looking forward to drawing some of this really? stuff. Oh, yeah. I hadn't had a chance to talk to you about it since uh, our last meeting, but... Yep. Uh, I'm, I've been... I've been I haven't put any, I have not put pencil to paper yet, but I have been contemplating some ideas. <laughs> yeah. And it's... It's shaping up in my head. <laughs> okay. It's shaping up. So Good. looking forward to that. All right. So moving past all of that stuff, tonight we're talking about extraterrestrials, aliens, things of that nature. And there's an argument point that I'd like to make here in a little bit, and we will get to that in just a moment. But to begin with, stop sighing. Uh, <laughs> I, I heard you seething there for a moment. Um, it's palpable, isn't it? <laughs> it it's, I could cut it with a knife. So we'll get to that in a moment. Um, Jareth, you watched any, any recent or? Or, or, or um, favorites of alien or extraterrestrial movies, and and keep in mind that the the idea behind this is um, human human beings from Earth at any given point in time, either venturing out into space or some type of alien that's coming here to Earth in some application. So if we're talking strictly uh, yeah. aliens involving themselves in Earth, recently, no, not really that much. Okay. Uh, I, I would like to put one thing into out-of-bounds limits, and mm-hmm. that's going to be Star Wars. Well, yeah, because that has yeah. nothing to do with Earth. Well, yeah. there, is the why. Over, there is the overlap theory with E.T., and I'm just cutting it off at the legs because we're just leaving that shit alone. <laughs> I don't care about ET. Okay, there you go. So, I do like Reese's pieces, though. Reese, yeah. Ex- okay, that's the that's the extent of the ET because I really don't want to tread down the path of extraterrestrial yeah. at least in that blatant. I'd like to also. Talk about other stuff. It would have to be like a couple million years since then right. for ET to have crossed over to us because okay. like Star Wars deals only in stupidly large amounts of time. Right, nothing right. happens in like twenty years. No. It's always like five million. A long, yeah. long time ago. Yeah, in a galaxy. Far, far away. Anyway, uh, back to what you're saying. Uh, besides the X Files, no, I haven't really watched a lot so recently. You've been watching X Files here recently. Uh, I finished it uh, about two months back, I think. Okay, so that's like all the original episodes and things of that nature. Yeah, got got myself caught up so that I could watch the new one. Delve uh, into the new. Yeah, realm I need of, to work on that. Which I'm actually a little less excited for right. after having finished the series. Uh, the series has kind of a very disappointing ending yeah do you think they're gonna fix that i don't think so no i really don't or do you think it's just gonna be another version of lost where you're just left wanting probably just suck uh because i mean suck start a glock i think we're supposed to get like six episodes for the new x-files right i think so uh three of them are supposed to be dealing with the overarching mythos and then three of them are uh, supposed to be monsters of the uh monsters of the week dire monkey do you see a an amount there i'm not seeing it. total episodes yeah he, he's checking continue with what you're saying um but part of the thing that they leave you with like the last episodes because it's kind of a twofer okay uh is like you find out when the final alien invasion is set and it's 2012 you know when the year's supposed to right go to hell um and something x-files has always done is it's always set when it's shot okay. and that's going to be true now Okay. Uh, which is why, you know, Mulder and Scully are older and all this other shit. So going it's supposed on. to be 2016. Yeah. Okay. So the series ends with 
that's looming in the distance in like 10 years. No potential hope yet uh, for how to stop the alien invasion. And, and they're scooping it back up after the fact as right. if all was well. With six episodes, yeah. Fantastic. Is, six. is it six? Okay. Yep. I'm wondering if there's going to be some episodes that have flashbacks explaining, you know, trying to tie the two together. Because that seems like an odd thing to do without, yeah. you know. Correct know. me if I'm wrong, and I, I haven't watched the X-Files. I don't think I've seen the season finale since, or the series finale since it aired originally. But wasn't in one of the last episodes they were eaten by a mushroom or something like that? Or uh, woke up in a mushroom, something like that? That actually is the season before the last okay. one. I Or wait, no, it's um, it's actually further back than that, because that's still while Mulder's like actively part of the FBI. Yeah, and because he was gone in the last couple of seasons, right? Yeah, so that's yeah. before John Doggett, so that's like season seven or six. Yeah, and somewhere I read, and I can spend hours trying to find this again, but <laughs> the theory was that this new six-arc series, is or six-episode series, is supposedly taking place with Mulder and Scully coming out of the mushroom or doing something to connect those two and forgetting the last few seasons. Interesting. That's weird. Where, what I read That's when they weirder. first announced X-Files right. reboot. So. Interesting. Okay. Okay. They, um, apparently it was like some kind of weird space mushroom and they were abducted. And All right. Yeah, they, get, they got ate by a mushroom. It got crazy. <laughs> now, do you think they poisoned the mushroom? No, the mushroom was like all Were ready they, to was eat the, it. Was the mushroom tripping on people? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think he was just eating food. Because he'd, he'd eaten other people already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he was still trying to rock the high. Um, That's true. Well, you know. You know you you're, good, you're never quite as high as the first time you eat a person. <laughs> It's true. You keep tracing the dragon, but you never catch it. You know, it's, yep. <laughs> it's that cherry high you just keep going after. Anyway, so I know you love Aliens, like Aliens, the yeah. movies. And oh, yeah. That stuff. Now, that's that's Earth branching out into in outer space based off of what all that's been put together for that. Um, yeah. Uh, it's dealing with us interacting with aliens uh, closer to their turf than ours, right. unless you're talking about the books. Correct. Which I have read like none of. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. But I know that like only like a couple of them deal with a xenomorph ever being on Earth, and it's like something that you just don't want because no, they're a huge problem. That yes, they are the ultimate infestation. They're like cockroaches, only worse, <laughs> super duper worse. They're worse than the cockroach from Men in Black. Yeah, that, yeah. that thing was a pain in the ass. It was. Excellent, excellent uh, uh, transition there. So, Men in Black, not unintentional transition. Well, it's still, uh, it's not not bad. I mean, that, that delves into you know comic books and all that good stuff. And and some of the comic books for the for the the Men in Black are just really odd. I haven't read never any. read them. Really, I don't, I don't really right. read comic books that often. Even the cartoon, the Kitty cartoon, was yeah, really odd. It was super duper weird. I do remember uh, seeing a few episodes of that and being like, "What the fuck is happening?" Yeah. Um, but the, the and movie, I watched Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah, and okay, shit, now, so. that was really weird. <laughs> That, that was a weird, weird children's I, I cartoon. I loved that show. I, my friend actually had a dog that he named Spunky that used to like chew on him to the point he was bleeding. He's like, ah, he's just playing with me. I'm like, okay, that dog nope. is trying to eat you. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, but with uh, the 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 X Files, or I'm sorry, not the X Files, the uh, the Men in Black uh, movies with Will Smith and, and all that good business. Um, they had some kind of interesting points. I mean, they they dealt with time travel at one point in time in the third movie oh. which is kind of terrible well done kind of terrible you're right <laughs> but uh i do have to say i very much like the bad guy in the third movie oh uh, he's great that's uh, jerome from flight of the concords that guy's yeah. hysterical that i loved that guy oh, he, yeah. he made an excellent bad guy in that movie because the uh, part where he starts jermaine jermaine yeah what'd i say jerome that's close <laughs> <laughs> potato tomato <laughs> So, <laughs> bite me. <laughs> so, but it, he he made a really really good bag. And my favorite part of the whole thing is where he's arguing with himself in the movie. Yeah, like he squares off with himself, and he's like, "What happened to you?" And he's like, "A human got me." And he's like, "You let a human get you." <laughs> and he's like <laughs> arguing. He's like, "You're weak." And it's fantastic. I, I, I actually really enjoyed that. It made me kind of just made me kind of happy. But um, my I think my favorite moment in all of the Men in Black movies is where they shoot the guy in the face, and his head starts to grow back. And <laughs> oh, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> you have any idea how much that stings? <laughs> <laughs> so, Allie, you, I know you've been watching some alien movies, as have I, but we'll get to yours first. So what, you were watching a couple of different movies the other day. Start with, uh, what was the, con- Contact? You Contact, Contact, yeah. I watched Contact the other day, and that one was really interesting. Very well done. Have you seen that prior to that? No, that was my first time watching it. All right. That's and the one where they build the thingy, right? <laughs> the thingy that's I have, very specific. I haven't <laughs> seen it in since like it came out. They, okay, they, so make, was, this, they make this deal we. that's supposed to like fall down and through, and externally, as it's observing, it literally just falls through and it does it's, nothing. It's all it's all based on um, a message that um, Jodie Foster's character Correct. gets from a star Vega way out there, mm-hmm. and she reads this transmission and then they're trying to figure out what this transmission is it starts out that they figure out it's prime numbers and then it slowly evolves and they figure out that it's actually schematics for a machine and the best thing that they can figure is that it's supposed to take whoever goes in it to them so they build one of these things and the person that goes in it some malfunction happens and the whole thing fucking blows up and so then everybody's like well great well then some private millionaire billionaire benefactor contacts Jodie Foster and says well we have another one let's go round two yeah yeah, round two, but nobody's going to want to get in it now. You're the one that made the discovery. You've got to be the one to do it. And so she does it, and she ends up on like this vortex super slide. But it drops from uh, from externally, of everybody observing it on the outside of the right. machine, it looks like it just falls straight through. Yeah. And nothing happens. One second, just falls straight through, nothing happens, but she's gone but then, for 18 hours. But then whenever they're watching the video, they're like, it's, it's just, just static. They're like, it's just static. And they go, yeah, but the interesting point is there's 18 hours worth of static. Uh, yeah, and she had claimed that they were gone for 18 hours and she ends up in like this huge conference room where they're judging her and and it's like this major thing because they're accusing her of some major hoax and stealing millions of federal dollars and all of this stuff for some giant hoax that was nothing and then this tiny little scene between some congresswoman and the guy that is basically James Woods who's verbally attacking her in the meeting because it's goes, James Woods because it's James Woods yeah exactly I, in <laughs> fact I even said to Al literally what he does he just yeah, verbally attacks people I even said to Al I was like is there a single movie on the planet that James Woods is in that you just don't think that he's a giant dick <laughs> and I, I but feel, hey in that moment you know I know he, I he know was, he was doing a service he was doing a service and she even admits that in in his position yes she would feel the exact same way you know yeah all I remember but, from that movie is they built a thing and the message was from the star that had the same name as my favorite uh, Street Fighter character Rock <laughs> 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 um you got to another movie, and we'll get to it in a second, because I watched it, too, and we'll discuss its yeah. nature here in a moment. Um, I watched two movies. One was Evolution. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, I like Evolution. For for the time, it was... Yeah. I like Evolution. I don't know that it's a good movie, it's, though. It's really... It's not. <laughs> but it's, it's fun. But it's yeah. got... Hey, I'm tying it all in together. You started with the X-Files. We branched over to this, and here we got David Duchovny again, and... Uh, <laughs> This time we've got aliens that apparently fire like is some type of catalyst and all that good stuff. But also, like, those aliens are pretty cool once they turn into like the dragon things. Yeah, that was, kinda, that was kind of that was kind of neat. I, I kind of like that. I do like that he starts doing the tuki tuki bird. We've established kaka kaka tuki tuki does not work, and then he starts singing to it, and he's like, rub some funk on it. This movie's so awful, but it's, so great. It really, really is. And it's that ugly little fat dog thing that's in the closet that the lady's like, oh, she's like reaching out at it. And this horrible looking like turkey head pops out and eats yeah. her hand. Yeah. It's, it's everything, everything that came out of that place, that, that fucking cave where that rock shard is, is carnivorous. Everything, everything. wants to eat you. There wasn't And a, each other. Yeah, exactly. And the wasn't that the one with the monkey? Yeah, the, that well, okay. Yeah, so the weird uh, albino ape monster. No, 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 they're, they're blue. They're blue. They're blue. I'm because, colorblind. Oh yeah, they're they're <laughs> super duper blue. It's uh, what's uh, uh, Dan Ac- Aykroyd? Yes, he's in it, and yeah. he's sitting there, and, and he's like the funny no nose chimp. And <laughs> They're wandering around smashing all the cameras and stuff, and then they're like bursting out of things. I'm like, oh, look, they've turned into primates. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's just what we need. Yeah, they're getting smarter. And then, you know, you had the two fat guys that were in the chemistry class that suddenly are like, I know it kills it because they're like, oh, well, that's the active ingredient in head and shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> Shampoo. So I had, okay, that's the part I had. That's the biggest 
flaw that I have with the movie is the whole beginning of the movie, all the premise of the movie, totally good, and then at the end of it, it became a fucking Head and Shoulders commercial. Yep, yeah. it is a Head and Shoulders. That's what that movie. Well, is. I don't, Sorry, I don't tra- know about that because I mean they're telling you that Head and Shoulders is what is it? Um, <laughs> that it contains arsenic, isn't that the thing? But, but it's the it's the that species equivalent of yeah. 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 So it contains a caustic enough material to destroy an alien species and, and using it on your head. Yeah, <laughs> and so I think so, it's kind of like an anti-commercial. Are they, are they saying that all those aliens are just giant pieces of dandruff? Yeah. Whoa. That's dan- mind that's, blow. That's dandruff for the planet Earth. <laughs> Wait, no. So arsenic is the L shape from us, and we're carbon based. What is it that's? Uh, I don't remember that. I, I don't remember what they. Because I, I remember them talking about that like was how they figured it out. They yeah that, yeah, yeah he, it was down and over, and he did the same thing yeah. down and over, and that's how they ended up coming up with that. But um, which I don't think is how that works. No, no, I, no not I don't think at so. all. I don't think so either. Selenium. Selenium. Thank yeah. you. They managed to fill up an entire fire truck with nothing but shampoo bottles, <laughs> enough to be able to take out one of those giant, uh, the weird giant squidly spider thing. Yeah, the th- yeah. they're like well, something with a giant mouth hole. anus. With a gi- <laughs> giant <laughs> mouth anus. That's exactly what that was. And what's his face gets shoved straight up in there. Yeah, it's got a giant creepy spider rectum. Yeah. <laughs> Damn near killed him. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. So we've established cloaca and an event. Um, so if there's anything that that movie has taught me, it's don't put head and shoulders up your anus. <laughs> Reminds me of an Adam Sandler song. <laughs> so <laughs> there's no dandruff up there, and you don't need to hydrate it and moisturize because <laughs> you're just gonna get stuck. <laughs> so. <laughs> The other movie that I watched was Lost in Space. And uh, that's, that's a movie where, again, where we're going out to somewhere. That's else, correct. Where we're the aliens. That's correct. Um, <laughs> it was, they were trying to get to. Um, also has a funny no nose chimp, doesn't it? Depends. Kind of. They've got that one that shape shifts colors and uh, whatever, and yeah. it's got like these flared nostril looking yeah. things. Um, but it's the the spiders, the space spiders. That's oh, the the, actual yeah, those things are fucked up. I don't like them. The ones that like eat metal and they can eat, live in space. Yeah, they live. They just wait for anything to fucking drift past it, and then they. We are of course talking I, about the the movie, not yes. the old old Correct. ass show. I, I do love the fact that I started watching this and immediately it was like, wait a minute, is that Gary Oldman? That's <laughs> How, Holy crap! That's how it is every time I see Gary Oldman. <laughs> I can't. I, it's like, uh, okay, so I think be, I've said it begin, before on the show. To begin even. with, uh, I you know I, I've watched tons of movies where it's it's been him and it's always been him, and I love the movie and I just don't realize it's and him. It's years later, and you're like, Holy and then shit, I'm watching Gary the movie. Oldman. Yeah, I'm watching yeah. the movie later on. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? The first time I ever noticed that happened, Fifth Element. Yep. Yeah, I right. know, right? It took me like 15 years to be I, like, what the fuck, Gary Oldman? <laughs> when did he get in this movie? I've watched this like nine times. Yeah, it's like one of my top ten favorite movies. No, I'm very much more than nine Okay, times. I was going to yeah. say. Also, Fifth Element is a great movie. Yes. It involves aliens. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Thank you, Gary, for making that bridge for us. And <laughs> thank you, Gary Oldman, for being shape-shifting monster who's an incredible <laughs> actor. Because he turns himself into that giant spider being at the very end. Ugh. Uh, Which, yeah, yeah, that was kind of... Not a fan. delves into time travel a little bit and and all sorts of good stuff, but... uh yeah, it was it was kind of weird. Um, I, I I'm kind of apprehensive at the fact that uh, Joey from Friends was in the movie <laughs> as yep. the, the ship's like captain or whatever. He was the pilot. He wasn't, I he think. wasn't pilot. a good comic relief. Is that what you're no, saying? and that that wasn't the role he was set for in that. I yeah. don't think he was he really was supposed, supposed to be like the Bruce Willis role. Yeah, oh. that, that's yeah. It's really not him. See, I haven't seen this. Yeah, it's really oh. not him. Don't. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay. This is it's, how bad this but, movie was. But when, I, when I first bought my first DVD player at Best Buy, this movie was in a five pack of free movies that came yep. in a DVD player. Oh. Well, I got it for a dollar the that other day. That doesn't bode well. It was I enjoyable know. when I was a small child. Yeah. I got it for a dollar the other day at Vintage Stock. So, you know, rock on Vintage Stock and <laughs> give me a movie for a dollar. Um, I was like, you know. I'm, Why did you spend a dollar? Because it was a dollar, and I wanted some source material to talk about for this. You could have went and got a cheeseburger. 
I didn't want a cheeseburger. <laughs> you would, wanted a bad movie. I wa- yeah, well, I had Gary, and so I was like, hell, you know, we'll give this a try. And uh, I'd His watch- name's Matt LeBlanc, by the way, not Joey. Yeah, I don't give a shit, so it's <laughs> Joey. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want people to know that I knew that. Well, I'd- I'm a big Friends aficionado, so... Oh, you have no idea. She can oh. tell you about the lamp that's in the, in, in the, in the TV show that she wants. Oh, God, Unless she's lamp. telling me about Jennifer Aniston naked, then the I don't care. Show, like, there is no. actually a scene when she's talking to um, Christina Applegate, who is her sister, and she's wearing a very sheer top, and she's holding her what is supposed to be her daughter on the show. And what's and the episode? Total nipple slip. Um, <laughs> it's she's one. Got, of, it's, she's got. It's this. one of the Thanksgiving ones. Doesn't um, matter. Doesn't matter. It's not an alien thing. Were there aliens yeah. in that? No. Okay, then we're moving on. There was a weird naked guy <laughs> that, <laughs> they, was, that they poked with, a, with a, a series of uh, uh, chopsticks. Chopsticks. Mm-hmm. Yep. What? A, it's alive. That's the one with so, the poking device. Gross. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> I have probes. Yeah. Okay. We, okay. We can make the stretch. You're not. To, no. No. Okay. <laughs> We can make it work. I, I don't feel good about that. Human either. beings have been probing long before we said aliens were probing. <laughs> <laughs> just ask the Catholics. Uh, oh! <laughs> I would say just ask anyone. Okay. I mean, probing is pretty much how you make other human beings. <laughs> is That's it? true. You just just stick and stuff I, into other stuff. And I, can, I can vouch just, for that. Just swapping fluid. <laughs> um, shooting juice, people. Oh, my God. <laughs> Except for Jareth. Jareth is asexual. Eventually, he'll just start shaking and split into two Jareths. Yeah. I'm, I, I I reproduce by budding. I don't split directly into two people. I just grow like another Jareth, and then he falls off and grows up into another Jareth. That's actually pretty awesome. It's really nuts. I'm like a uh, uh, what is it? I think it's a type of anemone that does it. Yeah, yeah. It's like an this, anemone. <laughs> this little half Jareth hanging off his arm. Like hey, see now I'm give having me a cheeseburger. Start now I'm having reactor, family guy. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Perfect. 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 That so, was awesome. Lost in Space ends. They're still fucking lost. They could have made a fucking sequel to it. I don't think they ever did. did they, they had ever? a three picture deal, and this movie was so bad. They were like, fuck it. Nope, we're done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, that's, that's, that's how that train wreck went. And then the last movie that I watched that has an overlap with Allie, and I'm not 100% sure if the other two here have seen this or not, is Pixels. No. I haven't seen it. Ugh. Haven't seen it? Nope. <laughs> I don't blame you, honestly. Is um, it bad? It's, it's pretty terrible. It's it's pretty terrible. I was kind of hoping it'd be good. I, I would like you to do a good thought, Adam Sandler movie. I thought the same thing. I you sat there and watched fun. the trailer for it, and it I was, was fun. Watching. It was fun. No. And you know what? I found a couple of moments to be rather intense. If you can get past the, the horrible concept for a movie and you can get bat past peter dinklage and easily the worst character i've ever seen him play he, he, Wait, he annoyed the piss out of is me it so worse bad. than him being the ghost in destiny because he's pretty bad as that i have i have no frame of reference because i didn't see that so bad in fact that they have removed all of his lines yeah peter no. dinklage and timothy oliphant have the same problem <laughs> they're good in like two shows and then anything else they do is just complete and utter dog shit now okay, hey no, you know what on. peter dinklage in knights of bad Aston was Bam. awesome get ready to say the exact same awesome. thing that's what i'm saying get ready to say the exact same Oh, yeah, but he was but all, don't get me wrong, they kill him. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, he's also just mostly a guy. Yeah, that's that, true. So. Well, a guy eating mushrooms. Like yeah, he, he's, he's, <laughs> shit out of mushrooms. He's not much of a character in yeah, that. So that's true. Like I said, they can and do they one or two him. things, but in they cast him in a lot of things because they have the name. Yeah, but he they're was shit. funny in Elf. Uh, he kicks mm-hmm. ass as Tyrion, though. Exactly. Yeah, he does. yeah. He does. Well, Timothy Oliphant was great and justified, great in Deadwood, shit, and everything else. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I, I like him on occasion. He, he just like he's a real hit or miss actor. Well, that's what he's. That is literally what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, just he's more hit than he is miss whereas <laughs> Peter Dinklage is more miss than he is hit so far so far but when he hits he's critting like he's oh yeah it right super well that's why they keep scooping him up for others so what well, we we could use him here yeah whereas and it's Peter Dinklage. Yeah. whereas Timothy Oliphant's just like he's hitting but you know he's never like really just ringing the bell yeah. just repeatedly so well, pix- that- pixels for me the problem I ran into is is that and, and it was ridiculous. No, it's it's the fact that 
Adam I, I, Sandler can't write a movie anymore. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's that. No, uh, it's not since the mid nineties. Mm. Yeah. No, I, I watched a uh, uh, this review of it at like the day after it came out, and this guy just goes off it. the fucking deep end with this thing, and he's like, "It's fucking subhuman fucking garbage," and I mean, just fucking destroys this movie. I would say and it's that bad. You should really well, listen to this guy's rant. It's yeah. kind of intense. Tense. There's a decent chance that uh, that guy might have been a little bit offended by the source material that Pixels well, is using. The, okay, there was a part that he got to in, in, in his little rant that I... And I hadn't watched the movie at the time. And, and I know that this is going to come as a big shock, but because I'm a host of a fucking show called SpoilerCast, I don't have a problem with spoilers, okay? You can fucking <laughs> tell me everything about a movie. You could literally go see a movie and come back to me and be like, this is everything that happens, and I'm going to go, amazing, hey, I'm Roper, still going to go see it. I told you the plot of Star Wars before you yes, saw it. I, yes, you did. I also don't mind spoilers, but here's a spoiler. We die at the end. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Of this show. Uh, when oh, of shit. this show, yeah. Eventually. I planted a bomb. <laughs> oh, yeah? It's over. <laughs> In my truck? Can I leave? No, no. just in the building. No. Yeah, we're going out with a bang. Boom, motherfuckers. That's hey, not true, guys. we have guys. kids. That's not, that's not nice. I, I know it's not nice. <laughs> I didn't like do it nice to be person? nice. All right, so yeah. the thing is, is that the point that he makes in his little rant that, that I, I found myself agreeing with is the fact that the aliens in Pixels don't even play by their own set of fucking rules. Yeah. Um, they start. They're they're sitting here going on about how they take trophies from us when they win, mm-hmm. and we get trophies whenever we mm-hmm. win. That's how we ended up with Cubert. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then they start calling Cubert a traitor. Yeah. It's like what? What? Yeah. Okay. And well, then, no, then, no, they didn't then, call him a traitor until no. after Cubert started giving them information. It doesn't fucking matter. He's he's a fucking prize. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't fucking matter. And the one cutesy thing, and this is also from, and I, I man, I really wish I knew who who put that that video together. Rob, would you see if you can find that? You know which one I'm talking about, right? Vaguely. Um, see if, see if you can pull it up. Um, I'll I'll tell you if I, I recognize it or not. But this this guy starts. I mean, he just hammers this this deal, and um, but he he points out that uh, the one really kind of cutesy thing about the movie Cubert at the end of it gets turned into the chick Mm -hmm. and it's like you people are fucking okay with this I mean even even the movie itself starts jabbing jokes at itself yeah it just doesn't make it funny anymore I do like the idea though that something that we've tossed out into space gets miscommunicated well not necessarily miscommunicated but more or less uh, scroll back up it's the one there that says movie reviews. That one by Movie Bob. Yeah, that one. You guys get a chance. You guys should really watch that. He just hammers that. I movie. don't plan on seeing Pixels, so I don't watch, really care that much to wa- see the pre- the review. Wa- watch the review. If nothing else, just to listen to this guy uh, this guy go off because it's kind of it's stellar. I've got better things to do. I think it's, this it's only ten minutes. Reviewed um, the trailer, newest trailer for Star Trek, and I thought he was just complete ass. Yeah. about it. He probably is. Maybe that's his thing. He got hung up on the point that they were using the um, Beastie Boys song. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, that's Irrelevant. from the first movie, mm-hmm. A, and if you know anything about Star Trek, you know from Kirk's era, he was into the whole early 19th, 20th century stuff. Mm-hmm. Bones gave him some glasses from early 1920s. Yep. So they're just bringing that kind of nostalgia yep. back. I'm like, gotcha. you're, you're a douche. Shut but up. For this, though, I, He's I found... right on. I, for this, I found it wildly comical, but um, it's... It's Pixels to me, like I said, it was one of those movies I was really, really, really hoping for a lot more than what it was. And I had very low expectations for it. I was still hoping for something better, and and it really just kind of puttered out on the tail end, and I really I think, wasn't impressed by it. I, I think I the just, problem is that the people that made the movie were just looking for an excuse to have comic, to have video game characters be in a movie. Yeah. Probably struggled to find a good premise for it. Yeah. And I had a major problem with the character, what the hell was his name? The guy with the glasses and the black hair. Just watched this movie and I can't remember his name. But that's also the voice of Olaf from Frozen. Yeah. And I have a problem with that guy just in general because it seems like everything that he's in, he's the comic relief and he knows it and he exploits that, But it's well, yeah, no, which makes it no longer funny. Typecast like a champion. Yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, let's see. And then we've got him up on the stage at that fancy schmancy party. Josh Gad? Just... Yeah, there you go, Josh Gad. Yeah, 
he's up there on the stage and he's singing some song and just getting down and humping the stage yeah, at this is. black tie event and nobody has a problem with this? Nope. No, because, never happened. Because he's an idiot. Never happened. And can we address the the? Oh, well, frankly, the that just sounds like an Adam Sandler movie. Yeah. Well, right. And well, then, yeah, I mean, uh, it's just chock full of butt and fart and dick jokes and stuff like that, which are then, fine. Yeah. And then what's his name as the president? Uh, Come. On. Uh, slow down. Scroll back up. Kevin James. There Kevin James. Please. What? It could happen. No, it's a horrible concept. It could it's a horrible. Happen. No. No, there's no. literally no chance that could No happen. chance in hell. <laughs> Paul Blart's the fucking No. <laughs> no way. As soon as we realized that he was the president, we Al and I both looked at each other and were just like, oh, you've got to be shitting me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like the Dan Ackroyd's in this movie, though, for like. Yeah, just for that little just, 30 second just, clip. <laughs> the one thing the movie got right is uh, Sean Bean dies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He dies so Damn often. It. Yeah, well, Damn I mean, yeah, it's it's gonna happen. It's like you know what the scene with with Sean Bean and Brian Cox hugging each other yeah. that crashed me up. <laughs> All right, it's over. You ladies can let go of yourselves now. <laughs> All right, so there there was like moments of okay, that was good, but then yeah, there for the rest of it, I was just like, this is just fucking horrible. And, and I, so I, for as bad as this movie is, we've spent the largest majority of our uh, time well, on it. Well, the reason being is because it's one of the newest ones. So we're going to move on to the talking point. Oh, God. Are you ready for this? No. Yes, you no, are. you're an this. idiot. I'm not an idiot. You're an idiot. Jareth, you ready? I'll back him up on it. Right, I don't know sure. what it is. You can't, no, you, you, you can't already, take you sides already. already. Have. You already have. Oh. Uh, Pan? Yeah. Peter Skillet, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Okay, I have not seen Pan. Okay, I'm if you relevant. Would, I haven't seen Pan. If if it doesn't matter, would you, uh, Dire Monkey? Would you pull up uh, Pan? Uh, was it 2015? How about there we just go. talk about the premise of Peter Pan in general, the story? Exactly. Okay, so um, we're talking about people who are coming from another world because it's clearly not a world where our rules and laws exist. Correct. But his or, no, and that's no, fine. But his no, theory is no. stupid. No, this movie, that's what's happening. That is exactly what's happening in this Your movie. Your theory was that the kids were dead. No, 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 no. That's not that what was I was talking about for this. Oh. I never talked about that for this. Uh -huh. I told you I could go off on that if I wanted to because there is a theory out there that suggests that uh, the, the Lost Boys are all dead. Yeah, no, and, and I, that, that's why I'm saying you're an idiot because that's, that's like the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. I, feel, I still think it's fantastic. No, knowing, you're retarded. Knowing some of the backstory of the guy who wrote it, I don't think that's the case. I don't think so either. I just think it's fantastic. He just wants I like to hearing. preserve those children and children he, estates forever. yeah i just i think that it's kind of but funny that watching her fly, fly off the deep end about it that theory but was this, why i was angry no no no. this is literally them and peter's left at the beginning of this movie peter's left um uh, on the, the steps of an orphanage by his mother with a note and, and he ends up getting his hands on the note at a later point in time and basically says you know i will see you again be it in this world or another and uh, as he grows up this is roughly world war ii time frame Okay, because um, I'm going to say it's it's England. Is that correct? While you're reading that, yes, London, England. Um, so they're they're there in this orphanage, and um, the nuns that are running this place are selling orphans <sighs> to uh, Blackbeard as slave labor. Interesting. Who are he's flying in in the middle of the night and scooping them up and taking them off to Neverland. That's right? very nunny of them. Oh yeah, uh, they're she. Oh, she's super duper hateful. Anyway, so Peter starts to figure out what's going on, uh, and then one night, like all of them get sold, and so they're all getting scooped up by by these pirates and in this pirate ship that's floating above this this building. Well, air raid sirens start going off, <laughs> and. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to get to that. I'll get to that. I'll get to that in just a moment. I, I love the look on your face. Just leave that right where it's at, please. Don't look. Stop it. Okay. I'm so, looking at his face. I can't look at Dire Monkey's face. Not not right no. now. No. It's oh, not yet. Jeez. No, Jareth, bad. <laughs> so <laughs> everybody quit looking at the screen. I'll turn it off. Keep so, going. God damn it. <laughs> so everybody gets scooped up. It's like 20 goddamn seconds telling everybody no. Everybody's scooped up. They're starting to take off. And these fucking fighter planes are like dive bombing this pirate ship and they're radioing back going um it's a pirate ship <laughs> <laughs> and they're like super confused because they think that they're under attack well to and, be fair that's something to be confused about if you're yeah. flying super an airplane that's true and then the next thing you know they like dive off into the water and then they take off again and then like as they're flying straight towards it it just goes straight up whoa and it like just vacuums off into space and of course you know the whole you know 
X amount of stars over and straight on till morning bullshit. Yeah. Anyway, so they get there. And when they first arrive and they're flying in, they're in this giant crater. It's this mine, and Blackbeard is pyre, is 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 mining for fairy dust. And he's using children because children don't make they're gr- good miners, but they're not good miners. Well, yeah, <laughs> like like Galaxy Quest. Yeah, it's a cute miner. I think he's over eighteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, bad joke. Anyhow, also, Galaxy <laughs> Quest is great. Yes. <laughs> Another one of another it, it one of those actually, movies that's not a great movie, but, but it's, a, it's it's a fantastic. I, I, I love was, that. I got to be honest. Whenever I was a vintage stock buying Lost in Space, I was actually looking for that. <laughs> that would have been a much better buy. That would have been would've. a much better buy. But um, uh, to jump back to uh, the story of Peter Pan, regardless of what Pan the movie is doing, mm-hmm. the story in general, whether or not, um, assuming that the children aren't dead, one way or another, they're going to a different world. Never, right. Yeah, whether it's another, it another planet world. in space or like another plane of existence they are going right. to a different so it is extraterrestrial yeah there, yeah, there are counts. beings there that are Thank not you. from earth no like i said the only ob- the Thank only you. objection that i had to your theory was the no, one no, about them being dead which is which the one i thought you were going to go with nothing to go with extraterrestrial well then i'm just anything. an asshole sitting here that was wrong Thank you. i think that we no, all i'm not giving need- you a fist bump for that thank you no thank you no. i'll fist thank I'll, I'll bump your fist bam thank you I i'll bump you, you with so, my fist so as as they're flying into this quarry where all the workers are suddenly they they start singing this song and the longer i'm listening to it i know this song and i know the lyrics but how they're singing it just seems really strange and it smells like teen spirit really yeah what yeah the what? weirdest part about this whole thing is i keep going back to this is world war ii time frame so i'm sitting here going, how the fuck well to be Where fair, the fuck to be fair i don't from? think this movie is uh being very well received is it i you know i don't i, I think it's kind of getting uh taken some hits it's got a 5.9 5. 5. out of that's uh out of 10 yeah yeah so it's not doing well <laughs> you get a, a seven by existing it's, <laughs> it's like a credit score you don't start at zero it's meta score is 36, 36. out of 100 <laughs> Yeah, so that's <laughs> just saying. But you know, uh, whatever problems you have with it, there's a good chance you're not alone. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's just really weird watching uh, Hugh Jackman walking out, kind of like dancing to a bunch of people chanting "Smells Like Teen Spirit." It's super duper. That weird. That would that would trip me up. Another I think. Super another weird. great movie in the vein of Peter Pan. Okay. Um, in the vein of Peter Pan, that also deals potentially with aliens in regards to from another world, not another planet. Okay. Stardust. Oh, yeah. What a great movie. That one movie is really good. Uh, I back, have not seen this back one. Back to Pan real quick. There's another song that you didn't yeah, probably no, pick I, up on. Yeah, no, I did. I did. I just what didn't know. I, go ahead with it. Blitzkrieg Bop? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> it's, but it's how they sing it that makes it so broken. And you're like, what am I listening to right now? And, and your brain is just like. Just can't comprehend it. It's scratching at the walls of your skull going, I know this. How do I know this? And then all of a sudden you realize what it is and you're like, fuck me. What? What? Why? <laughs> It's on my IMDb li- or my Amazon list now <laughs> to skip. Now you said this was around World War II, right? Yeah, it's That's what the time, time frame. frame's supposed Unless, to be. Unless. A funnier song would have been 99 Red Balloons. Un- uh. <laughs> well, Blitzkrieg Bop also is relevant because, I mean, the Blitzkrieg was the attacks by the Germans. That's true. Oh, that's true. But, uh, but now there is an interesting thought that could come from that. Okay, go ahead. If, um, if Blackbeard is traveling to our world and he's not necessarily entering our world at a single time frame, <laughs> He could be collecting children from other time frames as well who Fair have been point. exposed to this music. Fair point. And it's I would been like warped. to point out that it is World War II time frame, and he is Blackbeard. It, yeah, that's <laughs> sort of a key component of my argument that he's motherfucking Blackbeard during World War II. It's like, nah, it's kind of you're kind of out of your own time as it is, anyhow. Also, I'm pretty sure he's not the real Blackbeard. He's supposed to be. I yeah, I know, but that's no. Just no. Just I, I I do have to say that the guy that they cast for uh, Hook, fucking hate him. Whole movie, just fucking hate him. Who is that actor? Do you, do you see what that is? Who played Hook? Yeah, who played James Hook? Uh, Garrett Hedlund. There you go. I hate that guy. He put his face up on the screen. I can't see it. Yeah, I hate him. I hate his stupid face. Oh, that dick licker. Yeah, he's in Tron. <laughs> I hate him. I hate his stupid face. I actually kind of liked <gasps> Tron's one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Light bulb. All right. <laughs> Light bulb. Well, it is. It, Tron is one now because yes. now someone comes out of Tron into the real world. Well, they go both ways. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anybody came out of no, the. No, came out. At the end of the, the movie, the no, new movie. The, they, the human comes back out, not someone else. No, they bring the girl back out with them at the yeah, end of the movie. Uh, yeah, the new movie. That's what I'm talking That's about. That's what I'm talking about as well. So then we're on the same page. Stop Thank disagreeing you. with me. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just pointing out that we're, on, we're agreeing. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. We're agreeing. Motherfucker. Fuck you. That? We're in agreement. Who has aspirin? Aspirin? Yeah. Uh, Garrett, aspirin? Garrett Holland, Head, Headland. He, he's got aspirin. <laughs> but he's in Tron right now, so you yeah, can't I, get it I don't him. want his aspirin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> And we're derailed. Jareth? What? Fix it. Okay. <laughs> uh, we need another... another, another uh, Dire Monkey, we haven't got to you yet. What Have you watched any recent or or uh, maybe your favorite or something that just springs to mind for that extraterrestrials? Aliens? Yeah, one direction or the other. Either us branching out and dealing with aliens or them coming in this direction and being here and all that good business. I present this topic since it's going to be semi-current. Okay. Independence Day. <gasps> mm. They're making another one. They are. Yes, they are. I'm super stoked about it. I'm less stoked about it. Why? Um, if they're not going to do a full-on sequel to it, as in having Will Smith back. Well, Will Smith's supposed to be dead. Exactly. <laughs> uh, they're making it for the money. Okay. And I... I don't like that aspect of the movie. They did try to get Will Smith back. They did. And yeah. he was like, I want a trillion billion dollars. <laughs> he made that movie, so yeah, give it to him. I, I disagree. The movie made the movie. Will yeah. Smith was... He was not a really relevant actor then. Well, no, but that is what made summer box office blockbusters. But it just doesn't feel right without him. You get Jeff Goldblum, you get everybody else back. Because you, everybody... You him. You get Bill? Yeah. yeah. Bill's in it. Bill right. Pullen's back. The dad, the guy that played uh, Jeff Goldblum's yeah, dad, he's yeah. back. I think even the uh, Vivica A. Fox. Yeah, yeah she's back. She's back. The stripper? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody is back except for Will Smith. <laughs> what? She's and, a stripper. And I think it's... I would like to point out there's an entire scene in that first movie where she is stripping. I don't think she's a no stripper. And no one's paying attention to her. She's an exotic dancer. It doesn't matter. Perhaps, That's what, perhaps burlesque. Yeah, splitting hairs over there, Mr. I want a hot dog stand out in the parking lot. <laughs> I know these things. This is my field of expertise. It, so, it truly is, and we have tapped this card for a reason. <laughs> but I, I'll see the damn movie. I mean, oh, yeah. you got to. But I like that the trailer featured like the most inspirational motherfucking speech in the history of ever. Yep. Because it's the same speech he gave in the first Yeah, movie. I know. I'm, yep. I'm saying that yeah. that speech but, is the most inspirational speech. It is. Yep. I'll give you that. Yep. 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 Like I, yep. I'll listen to that to get me jacked up to do some stupid shit in the day. You know what would be really awesome and would just make me cream myself What's if that? it happened in the movie? What? Randy Quaid makes an appearance. <laughs> <laughs> like he yeah. didn't die? Yeah. yeah. That, that would be fucking awesome. He's like, yeah, I blew up the spaceship. I'm fine. Yeah. I, that would <laughs> turns be out, payoff. 100%. Turns out that was a teleporter. <laughs> he's he's just been up there butt fucking them for the last like twenty years. He's just been back. up there fucking dog fighting yeah. all of them. Yeah. The guy piloting the ship back that we're attacking and trying to bring exactly. down is actually him. Yeah. Yeah. That would be awesome. I'd I'd pay double to see that type of movie. <laughs> but eh, I digress. Uh well that would require uh what's that guy's name? M M Night Shamalaman Lamalamana. Shamalama Ding Dong. Fuck that guy. <laughs> well that's who it would take to make that movie yeah, happen. I know. <laughs> that guy can go eat a bag of night elf dicks. <laughs> On that note with M. Night Shyamalan let's talk about no. signs no. no why because I thought that was a good movie the it, first time no. the first <laughs> yeah. yeah and then it just slowly degraded actually itself. you know what no to be fair that movie's not bad it wasn't it's it's fine like it's it's a solid six yeah like, it just it has the same quality that every M. Night Shyamalan movie has that you watch it once and then you never want to see it again because the <laughs> twist can never be re as exciting as it was the first time I will say well, that, that was kind of his a... last decent movie. Okay. Yeah. From there, he went to complete crazy fuck down. Like The Village? The Do Village. God. I, I, I kind okay, of like I liked The Village. The village. Oh, I did. God okay. damn. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of my studio. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, I think that what we can what we can land on Gary, though is he's an, creatures. he's an incredibly dip, they're they're like porcupine monsters uh, with is like that, vulture faces. They're, they're like porcupine. They're monsters. goddamn Halloween costumes. Yes, oh, they yeah. basically are. That's Reminded me of the Skeksis from the Dark Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's my favorite Skeksis, the like no. Vizier who's like, mmm! no, wait a minute. <laughs> the whole time he's just making yummy noises. <laughs> uh, wasn't Lady in the Water an alien movie too? I, um, I don't. I think don't know. So. I never watched it. I, had, uh, I didn't either. It was sort of an alien movie. Of course like, you'd know. Some kind of space horse landed in a pool or something. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Paul Giamatti was being Paul Giamatti, I think and I think from... she was dying because nobody was clapping hard enough. Yeah. I, <laughs> I believe in fairies. That's, yeah, yeah, I think it's a magical land that they come from not like space space okay because no, yeah. well, still... like there's all that bullshit about like a prophecy and business and everyone's fitting it oh god I hated that movie so hard <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ I, I think I sat through like half of that movie and then I was like <sighs> I, saw I, I didn't even do that. I just thought, like, nope. I saw it. <laughs> We're not watching that. I, okay, after I spoiled the fucking, uh, the village for myself 30 seconds into the damn thing, I was like, <laughs> the hell was that? That's I, a great question. What was it? I walked out of that movie because I was literally thinking, like, if I if she jumps over that fucking fence and I see a goddamn road, I'm bolting. <laughs> and the bitch hopped the fence and there's a goddamn cop car there and I'm like, fuck it. Nope. <laughs> well, you We're missed done. all of 10 seconds. So. Yeah. yeah. See, but the thing is, is that it was, and I know this is going to sound really stupid. It was the, the, the flags, the banners that they had in the, in the town that fucking gave it away for yeah. me. That literally, that's what gave that movie away. For I don't me. remember what the banners and flags were. There was nothing in particular about them, other than the fact that I thought that the the, the creases and the, the edge work on it was too fucking precise hmm. to be for the time frame that they were trying to make right. it out to be. Yeah. Like it was machine woven, like not person machine woven. And that is exactly what I saw and went, that doesn't fucking fit. And maybe, just maybe, this is one of those movies where they didn't put that much attention into detail like that. But at the same time, I was like, probably not. And no. then I considered who made the movie yeah, exactly. and instantly was like, okay, well, if, if I've just spoiled the ending for myself, I'm going to be angry. It's the equivalent of having something red in the scene in Sixth Sense or yes. yeah. the water in Unbreakable. It's the same type of thing. Yeah. So as much as I like shitting on M. Night Shyamalan, and I love it, it's one of my favorite <laughs> I would things. make an entire German shiza film with him. <laughs> like uh, <laughs> shitting all over him. We've been talking about the village a little bit too long, and it has zero aliens in That's it. True, That's true. But we, Signs we gotta... is a valid uh, thing. Thank you. <sighs> Fine. But those were demons. Hey! They were not. Supposedly. That's a what? theory. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah, There, there is a strong like, See, religious overtones in there. So. See, I've never heard any of the fan theories about that movie, so... If we're going with the most obvious answers, it's aliens. Yeah. Uh... And that sparked an entire debate on our spellcast one day about the blessed radius of a pope. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. How yeah. far is the, spell, the blessed radius? We, well, we couldn't exactly calculate it because <laughs> we, we don't know what level the pope actually is. It, <laughs> <laughs> I imagine he has to be at least level 20 to become the pope. Well... It, like, he has to be a level 20 a, cleric. Has to be a prestige class? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think we determined he had to be a prestige class, but... I mean... Well, because it's, it's, a, it's a... it's I love how we've railed over to since it's a I, I, Since no, it's I'm, a voting I'm, process, I'm I imagine you with could this. become... Like, you could be like a level well, 5 no. cleric, and everyone loves you, and no. they make you the pope, but... No. See, because uh, in order to get... Uh, uh, vermin lord for uh you know for a cleric you have to find an intelligent insect that ordains you and so there's prerequisites for it at that point in time but it's it's kind of a voting process as the well the fuck you are to, you guys talking about D&D shut up oh, okay um, i'm out you didn't so, <laughs> so uh it's, anyway we we've, we've only got like 8 minutes left let's go back to aliens <laughs> I, I, but i was liking this part of the I, conversation i don't care what you like let's talk about galaxy quest future episode we can do a whole pope deal. bless radius deal <laughs> deal sold <laughs> pope blessing is going to be a thing on, on a later episode folks i've also got galaxy quest is fantastic galaxy it quest is. is where we're and it's now. another one of those things where transmission ends up in space and is found by aliens and this is understood also like the premise for this for for pixels especially you know? the fact that they they were felt so bad for the people on gilligan's island <laughs> yeah right <laughs> the historical documents those poor yeah. people <laughs> And the fact that all of them are just basically 
devoid of any and all and emotion, those, and they're basically children. And at the end of it, they laughs. basically turn that chick uh, into a whore. Uh, 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 Mars attacks uh, also. Octa whore. <laughs> Octa whore, like nobody's. Oh mentioned. yeah. Hey, Tony Shalhoub loved that girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he yeah. stays. <laughs> yeah, he does stay. Mm, he's, he's like fuck Earth. He's no, down with the octopus. She stays because she's in the new series. Oh yeah, you're right. You're oh, right. that's right. She does come back mm. to Earth. Mm. And uh, and what's his name gets to be on the show as Malthazar. Guy. Yeah. The uh, the extra. Yeah, the guy who was a red shirt. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's and not Mathazar. Gets, that's the other guy. He becomes a security chief something. <laughs> guy right. something. Guy, yep. Which, Just guy. Which, what's fantastic about all of that is the fact that they keep going back to it's, you're a red shirt. You're, yeah. you're a red fucking shirt. die. Yeah. <laughs> well, he does, because like, he's in the, the landing party with him, yep. mm-hmm. and he's like, I'm going to die. I got <laughs> killed by a lava monster five seconds in. And he's just freaking the fuck out, and they're like, calm the fuck down. <laughs> By Grapthar's hammer, I will avenge you. <laughs> Alan Rickman, fuck that guy. He's awesome. Uh, I love Everything. Alan Rickman. <laughs> Alan Rickman. I love when they they crash into the convention and then they're announcing them as they come off the ship and, and then give it a hand for this guy. He's British because <laughs> that that qualifies him in any way. <laughs> Apparently, that's how that worked. Well, I think that set the tone for coolest you know, convention ever. I mean, yeah, the right? alien shows yeah. up and they shoot him and he like turns into confetti. Right. <laughs> Because they've got a confetti gun. <laughs> like, what the fuck? These aren't grunts from Halo. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> Halo, Halo's a good one. Is this aliens. a Kickstarter yeah, account? What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Actually, if we're talking about, if we extend this to video games, we could go for days yeah, on days. days. Give me the best one for you. I mean, we're right, right here the last Space fucking invaders. Space invaders? Is that what you're going with? No. I could go with a million of them. Well, give me the best one. I like Halo. I like Halo 2. Halo 2? As well. Oh, also. Okay. Also, I like Halo 2. I like Halo 2. Actually, I think my favorite one was Halo Reach, honestly. That's a good The storyline in that one all, captivated me. All I've got is uh, I like the little sticky bombs. That's the best I got. <laughs> the sticky bombs are awesome. <laughs> that's, that's my thing. So And rocket jumping. I mean, of I course, forget what it's called, but I love the gun that looks like a porcupine. Needler. The needler. The needler. Yeah. yeah. Well, until you get to three, I think the aliens don't actually get to Earth, but we are interacting with them. So mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lame sauce. Okay. So uh, fuck you. <laughs> Thank you, Jareth. Uh, you, you ran on fucking pixels for like twenty four <laughs> hours. Yeah, I did because it was relevant. You can't give us two minutes for Halo. Oh no. shit. Hey, Damn. you know what? If I had my way, my daughter Harley, her name would have been Cortana. Awesome. Should That's have done true. it. Uh, Tell but, that to Al, please. But di- then, I think I did. Yeah, I think you did too. But but <laughs> then she'd be named after the computer program that's no. now on yeah. my fucking new Windows. She'd be 10. named after yeah, a different I know. computer program. Yeah, I know. To be fair, that happened after the inspiration. You know, after yeah. just I had because her, so well, just, she would be just named after Windows the, is trying to get Siri eyed or whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> they would her daughter would be named after the computer program that that computer program is there. You go. Right. So it's like twice removed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Something like that. Fair enough. <laughs> Five minutes at this point in time to the end of our episode. So right now I'd like to begin our plugs. So Jareth, you're on uh, another podcast on occasion. What's that all about? Uh, flick freaks. Flick freaks. We you talk f- about flicking freaks. Yeah, we flick freaks all the time, and I freak flicks. Yeah. Uh, we talk about movies and whatnot. Uh, very similar to this podcast, but with no spoilers. Uh, you know, latest uh, news in the media, stuff like that. All right. It's a pretty good show. You guys got uh, Facebooks, YouTubes, Twitters, all As far business. as I know, we have like all of it. Yeah. Andrew and I, seems to be in every possible social media. Yeah, and have. Andrew's pretty on top of it. I think you can find us pretty much like Everywhere. Flick Freaks something like at Flick Freaks. Or Everywhere. Flickfreaks.com. And, Just and, look us up. You'll find us. And you, they, you guys, he does some excellent reaction videos. I've been on with him once for one of the episodes. You've been on with them a couple of times. And he's been on here a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Good guy. Um, love him. Good guys. Around here. So uh, I'm glad that uh, there's a little bit of overlap on, on that end of things. Um, we have another show for 
Alt Hour Media, which is Agents of Sir, which has uh, Agent Jones. Why are you Agent like, looking me down while I'm, you say it? I'm not. I'm talking to you. Oh, okay. And you're supposed to be interacting back with <laughs> oh, me. Oh, then yes. Yes, we do have that show. Thank Stop you. Secret identities bastard. revealed. I didn't understand his cues. Just saying. Secret identities. You're just like, looking at me like, we also have this he's, thing. He's trying to connect with you on a personal level. Yeah, Come it's, on. It's, oh, I'll it's connect easier. with him on a personal <laughs> level. Listen, it's easier to talk to you than stare at this dude for <laughs> Mozart in the anus. jungle. So, it's a good show, by the way. I've never watched it. doesn't matter to me. That guy has a very oblong mouth. Um, so he, he's, That's a very odd complaint. I think that's Mexican. Be, I also it think that that's matter. largely matter. because of the shape of his beard and mustache. It might be. I don't care. And that Draws looks, the sight lines around. That chick looks like she's getting ready to do something horrible with that cello. Or flute I think or. that that's part of that's the That's not a cello. <laughs> That is not a cello. What the fuck is it then? It's an oboe. An yeah. oboe was my next guess. <laughs> <laughs> I play the cello, so I know what a cello is. Oh, okay. I think that part of the... That's why she's got it like kind of like... I didn't even dropper, register dropper, the dropper, instrument dropper. the first time I looked at her. I just saw the little white on her mouth, and I thought it was wildly inappropriate, so I just wasn't even going to comment. Yeah. I'm, why do you think my brain is going here? Anyway, it's, Agents of Sir. Agents of Sir. Secret is, uh, identities revealed. That's why I was talking to you, so I didn't derail, but unfortunately it happened because these fucking people are staring at me. So uh, that's our Actually, other Actually, it happened because he questioned why you were staring at it. <laughs> so... <laughs> They discuss uh, they, comic books yes, and such. Comic books, comic books, everything. Thank you for minimizing that screen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then we've also got uh, Spellbook, Spellbook Studios. Spellbook yeah. Studios, you all have Spellcast. Spellcast, Wait. and soon to be returning Spellbook News. Ooh. Yeah. That's kind of exciting. It'll be more for our player base. Okay. They want to hear about deaths and stuff in the game, so we're going to oblige them again. So you're going to talk about players in the game is that what you're talking about or leaderboards more or less yeah who did the most kills who got killed the most who did this and that and the other thing so, so they've been clamoring for that for a while shame talking those that just suck there will be some of that yes rock on yep. okay um so that's coming up we are all over the internet as well spellbook.com the easiest way to get to everything that has our forums and links to the youtubes and the twitters and the the facebooks and all that stuff and the contests and the contest yep yeah. yep because uh, you want to win shit that's right and uh, hopefully soon we will be getting back on Twitch. Hopefully. Yeah. To, you know, I was looking for you guys on Twitch the other day. I couldn't find anything on there. Yeah. Our our actual uh, page, I think, has probably been taken down oh, okay. for an activity because this, since our studio moved, something is messed up and we cannot stream at the moment. Hmm. We can't figure out why. Okay. So Technical that, errors. Technical difficulties with I the I streamed cables just before we started. <coughs> Were you? Did, did you cross the streams? No, I'm, oh. it's not the end of the movie yet. I so, thought you uh, said not to cross the streams. It's still unacceptable until... The, I love that that's always the answer in the Ghostbusters movies, that thing that they tell you from the very beginning. <laughs> yeah. Cross the streams. They should have just done it to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> so, hopefully Twitch will be a new uh, thing coming up and again soon. Uh, yeah. Get back into that. And then there's always the contest we do. We'll be giving away three more books at least throughout the, the first couple of months this year. So you can check out the forums for all the contest rules and things. Excellent, excellent. And uh, yeah, that's about it. We do the spellcast every other week. So so now that we've gotten around to me making a plug <gasps> for Agents of Sir, you making a plug for uh, the Flick Freaks, can you make I just a plug for th- Spellbook Studios. What do you got, Jareth? I just want to throw something out there real what? quick on topic. What? Ghostbusters is an alien movie. <laughs> Gozer is from another dimension. Technically speaking, thank you very much, Gozer the Destroyer. Boom. Damn it. Don't 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 wish Love for Ghostbusters. Shit. Don't wish for shit. Yeah. Why would you do that? Why why just wish for the thing that I Still thought, thought we couldn't could. kill us. They, they wouldn't hurt us. Something from our childhood. Something we loved. Anyway, do you have anything you want to plug, Allie? Not at the moment. All right, you Go need to Packers. work on that. Nope. <laughs> My name is Vince Clortho. I am the key master. Are you the gatekeeper? I am the gatekeeper. Are you the key master? Does this mean we have sex and turn into stone dogs? <laughs> yes, it does. Apparently. And Let's go. do it. Bring it up. Wait, wait. <laughs> let me turn my recorder on. Holy shit. And with that, I think... Uh, <laughs> we, we've reached the end of the... Yeah. We've reached the end of the internet, people. Me and uh, <laughs> me and Roper here have to go turn into some stone dogs, <laughs> and uh, we'll leave you with that. And we're going to release Gozer the Destroyer upon hey, your world. Get ready. The listeners are going to say, Pixar, it didn't happen. 
Well, <laughs> we'll sell tickets. <laughs> we'll sell out a stadium. Uh, you remember that uh, contest that we were contemplating having oh, where shit. you shaved your head? No. No, um, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, well, we were talking about a uh, It's like a, nope. a GoFundMe where nope. we're going to earn some money and nope. you're going to shave your head. No. Nope. We can go back in the archives and pull up that episode. No. I bet we can. No, okay. Well, and here's, here's if I don't know if you remember what I told you, Matt, but I told you to at least tell Josh that if you, you come up with 500, I'll give you Gary Ullman from the Fifth Element. <laughs> <laughs> well, you shave half your head? Shave but half. You have to have the plastic cover there. Yes, yes. no, I would rock the awesome shit out of the shit. plastic now, cover. Now, wait a minute. That's a cool if, punk cut. If, no. I'll even have it rigged up so that it leaks black ink. Oh, uh, that'd be in a while. cool. So here, here's, here's, here's what we <laughs> I, I think do. we're running over on our time. We, we are a little bit over on yeah. our time, but this is totally worthwhile. See, what we need is someone who possibly has a 3D printer in order to be able to make that type of helmet. Um, we have one of those. Weird. Oh, mm. oh. shit. <laughs> All right. So here's the deal. $500, i will give you Gary Ullman. $1,000, I'll go Sinead O'Connor. Uh, yeah, that would be... no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. I won't go I'm, skin. Why? Because I have a couple moles on my head. I'll, I'll, but I'll, I'll give you I'll give you a one. Uh, I'll give you a one. <sighs> Hear that, everyone? <laughs> you know, subscribe to us and... Give me money. Like us, share us on Facebook, and then give us money in order to shave <laughs> Allie's melon. It'll be a fan freaking tastic. Hey, at least we're not up for the year. At least Don't. we're not like being cheap and like Roper will shave his head. Yeah, <laughs> Roper, Roper shaves his head all the time. As a matter of fact, you give me money, I'll let my hair grow back out again. <laughs> Some of you may not know, but I have red hair. Don't give them money. <laughs> give, give, give us the money so we may shave our head and do stupid stuffs. Anyway, oh, now that we're done uh, trying to milk you internet. for money, say goodbye, internet. Bye, internet. <laughs> I love turtles.